Hey guys, it's Overlord here, back in with another review, and today we are having a look at the DC Collectibles New Batman Adventure, something stupid like that. <laughs> <clears throat> Freaking throat's been a bastard. Um, today we're finally looking at Bane, he finally showed the hell up, um, if you saw my Christmas haul. Yeah, I know, I uploaded my Christmas haul at the end of the first week of the year. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he got that. But uh, today we're looking at Bane, and Bane's probably my favorite of these figures so far, aside from one glaring issue. It looks like he's leaning, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what the hell the deal with that is. They can't get the same leg, the, they can't get the legs the same size or something, I don't know. I think that's kind of silly, but before we look at him, we'll look at his uh, stand here. There's a turnaround. <coughs> <clears throat> Crap. You got that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And look, the tube is behind him, not over there. i had done my best to get it behind him. It still wants to hang out a little bit, but I think over time it's just going to sag and droop down like droopy dog. And uh, he also comes with alternate hands, of course. Aside from the two that are on it, which you can't see, so never mind. Um, comes with pseudo trigger fingers. You can hold stuff in those. He comes with mutton grabbing hands. Which are cool. And he comes with standard grip. Which, did I leave one up there? No. And there you go. Standard grip. Do with that as you will. He's a gimp, after all. Um, so let's look at Bane. Now, I'm not sure if his belt was glued on or what, but I just pretty much straight up peeled it so I could get it centered. It's pretty darn close, I'd say. Yeah, looking at his legs here. For some reason. Kind of looks like he's got one leg that's longer than the other. Does he? Am I nuts? No matter what I do, he seems to want to lean. Or flat up fall down. That's just the weight. Um, yeah, he seems to want to lean to the left, his left. See, I, th I think one of his legs is longer than the other, which is weird. You'd think they'd just mirror it or something, because, you know, modern day toys, you pretty much do it all on the computer now. So, why that's a problem, I don't know. But, uh, in terms of his articulation, his head feels like it's on a double ball peg. It rotates nice. I want to be careful, you don't want to get this on these. These are actually kind of sharp. Um, of all the places to get schmutz, I think he's got a little schmutz on his tuber here, right around here. Feels like there's some extra plastic, if you can see that. Right where it is on my finger. Right there. I don't know what that is. It might also be like glue or something. I've been debating on shaving it off, but I don't know. Because his tube is kind of, it's made out of the same stuff as his belt. Dang it, it just bugs me so much. It feels hard, too, so it might be glue. So it might just have been... May have just gotten there by accident, but... I don't know. I can't tell if this tube is hollow or not. I don't really like the way the tube is made, either. Um, 
That's about my only gripe with the figure. I think the tube is a little too much slack. I like slack, but this is a little too much slack. This thing, if this thing pops off, you're kind of screwed. Um, you're probably better off getting, uh, I don't know, just anything. Maybe like an O-ring, a really big one. It's about this thin. So I think that'd be a little sturdier. I think the only Banes that did this tube shit right were the metal ones. Nice and solid. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what that is. I don't know. It's some weird schmutzy feeling down here. But again, I don't want to take the blade to it if that's going to cut the tube open. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, with that cringe fest over, his head was on a double ball joint, and his arms will move out about that far. You get, again, you get plenty of slack with this hose. You don't got to worry about really tearing it. You don't want to do all kinds of, like, 360 with this arm, but you can get it to move. Um... His elbows bend and rotate, his wrists rotate and have a hinge. They don't really hinge in, they more or less hinge that away. Uh, they hinge outward. He's got an ab crunch, which works pretty well. He's got a diaphragm joint, which doesn't do hardly anything. He's got the T-jointed hips. Now his hips aren't that bad compared to the other ones because it's nice and flat here. It just looks kind of gappy up up in here. Other than that, it looks fine. They move forward. They move forward a decent amount. It's got a single hinge in the knee. It's got a swivel in the uh, boot there. It's kind of hidden. It's kind of round too, so it's not really noticeable. He's got an ankle rocker and a hinge. So, overall, he's a really nice figure. Um, the hands are easily interchangeable, too. I'm not going to do that on camera just for time's sake, but you kind of get the point. Um, I will say, be careful over here. You don't want to hurt yourself with these little spikes. Like I said, they are kind of sharp. So that's pretty much Bane in a nutshell. And now he's standing straight up, you bastard. Now he wants to fall down. He's a little top heavy, but you can get him to stand without the stand. Um, he is kind of cumbersome to work with, but again, you can get it to work. It's nothing. It's not impossible. It's just insanely hard. <laughs> but here he is next to Batman. Just for a quick size comparison. Obviously, he's taller than Batman, who's leaning to the left as well. That seems to be what all these figures want to do, is lean to the left. And why the heck is that? I couldn't tell you. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> they all want to do the side step. I don't trust you. <laughs> Trying to put Batman back where I had him, and I don't trust him not leaning on the box. Okay. So. <laughs> That being said, that's Bane in a nutshell. Um, I mean, he's, he wants to do this leaning shit, and I don't get it. He'll just lean his other leg out, I suppose. I, I think one of his legs is longer than the other, which is unfortunate, because that seems to be a trend with this line. I don't quite understand why they can't just, like, copy the leg and flip it. 
Seems to me like that would be the ideal thing to do. But with that being said, I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10 anyways. Um, really, the leg thing, it's just something I'm probably going to just get used to. And the, tu the tube is the main thing that brings him down. It's a little fragile for my taste. I would have preferred something like the Mattel hoses. So, that being said, hope you enjoyed this review. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. I am the Bane! Don't ask me why I did that. Alrighty guys, just a quick follow up here. I did manage to get that whatever it was off without damaging the tube. It's like right around here. And you can see there. So, yeah, I think it was glue of some kind, but it is no more. So my vein is a little bit better now. <laughs> I still hate this tube. It's too it's too flimsy. Like I, I would have preferred again the Mattel hose, but uh I guess if it falls apart, which it probably will. <laughs> I'll probably just get a O-ring of some sort, maybe even a twist tie. Not sure. Something old. It's on a little tougher though. Yeah, but that being said, Again, hope you enjoyed this review, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.